Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And today we're talking about Miss Rosa because she got her six stars. Uh, and I want to talk about her because already as a five star, she was really, really good. And now as a six star, she's even better. So if you guys are still playing the game, hopefully you are, and you're watching this video and you still don't have a good healer. Uh, well, she does the job really, really, really well. You guys can see her uh, being used in a lot of trials, uh, in a lot of um, uh, boss fights and everything. Uh, why is she that good? Well, we're going to go over her stuff real fast. Because already as a 4 to 5 star unit, you guys knew uh, a bit how good she was. Uh, if you don't know, that's her thing. Goddess Bow, or Trust Master, um, Attack 91, Spirit 40, and she has Bird Killer. And it's a two-handed weapon. Uh, also, the accuracy damage, you guys can see, it ranges from 125 to 175%. So depending on when she attacks, there is a variance where you're going to get a buff within 125 and 175%. So you might do more damage sometimes, but she's not there for the damage. She's there because she's able to keep your team alive for a really, really long time. So you guys can see her stats right here. As a 5-star, her max HP was 2260 and now it becomes a 3,298 HP. Uh, that's base stat, so that's really, really good. You guys can see her MP went from 153 to 185. Her attack, 88 to 114, which is a really good boost. Her defense, 89 to 117. And her magic, 93 to 132. And finally, the spirit, 129 to 154. So she has really high spirit. Uh, she's going to be able to burst those heals a little bit more with her Karaga and uh, sustain a little bit more magic damage when she gets hit. Um, you guys can see her stats increase when you give her the bots. You have a total of 390 on the HP, 85 on the MP, 26 on the attack, 26 on defense, 26 on magic, and 26 on spirit. So, already your base stats are actually really, really good. Just for a 4-star unit, that goes up to a 6-star unit. And, we're going to go over a new, uh, new, uh, new stuff. Basically, she had Bless, and it's really, really easy to awaken that ability because it's really not expensive, and we're going to go over it. Uh, basically, it refreshes MP right here, but once you awaken it, it refreshes MP and heals you for three turns. So that thing is really, really good. Her six-star abilities, you guys can see right here, she has Mystic, Charge Shot, Magic Damage, two times with SPR scaling to all enemies. So the higher SPR is, the higher the damage will be on that move but rarely you're going to be using this unless you want to you know chain two roses together which would be really funny actually it could be doable but uh i i don't think a lot of people will chain two roses together then she has miracle and that thing right here is really really good only the only hick it's a 50 percent chance of getting each uh not each one of the other one so you have a 50% chance of healing 1200, uh, well, 1250 HP with a 4.5 time multiplier to all allies and you cure all status uh, ailments, uh, which is really, really good. It's basically like Priestess Miracle, but with a uh, heal over, uh, with a big heal. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's still killing me. 50% uh, chance of healing, same thing, 1250 HP with a 4.5 time multiplier uh, and you remove defense and spirit break from all enemies so that thing right here is really really strong let's say all right let's say you're using siege nicole because he's gonna come out too uh you're using siege nicole one of his things is gonna buff the attack and magic by 130 percent and he's gonna break your defense and spirit by 65 percent and vice versa when you do the defense and spirit so right here if you buff your party with 130%, well, you have a chance, a 50% chance, granted, that you can remove that defense and spirit uh, break on your party. Which is, you know, I'm just throwing this up in the air, but there's always, uh, there's other bosses that sometimes they break you, and uh, let's take the example, the Wicked Moon, where it breaks your defense, spirit, uh, all your stats. So basically, she could be really good in that case. When all your stats are broken, you can just, you know, take off the defense and spirit break on your party and make them survive a little bit more, which is really, really important when you're fighting these bosses now. Uh, we're going to go over our traits right here. Our six star, 
Untainted Heart, increase resistance to sleep and paralyze, which is really, really good. Uh, Alluring Archer, increase attack and SPR by 30% when equipped with a bow. So the second you give her a bow, boom, her stats are going up on the attack and on the SPR, which is really good, actually. Not bad. I like the SPR. The attack, not a big fan of, but the SPR, really good. Then she has HP 20%. So right here, you guys can see that she's going to be able to survive a little bit more and burst those heals even easier. We're going to go over her magic. You guys right here, you guys can see she had Karaga. That was her last skill on her 5-star Asuna Dispelga, which is really good because she can dispel all the, uh, all the enemies at the same time, which is really, really strong. Uh, her 6-star version, you basically get Asunaga, so you can cure Poison, Blind, Sleep, Silence, Paralyze, and Confuse to all allies now. So that's really good. She has the Brana, remove Attack Break from one ally. The Prona, remove Defense Break from one ally. Uh, the Fatna, the Fatna, yeah. Remove Magic Break from one ally, and the Shelna, remove Spirit Break from one ally. So in a case where, let's say, your tank is literally taking all the damage, and his defense and spirit has been broken and the uh, boss is doing a lot of physical damage and you want him to be able to cover for your party well you can just dual cast uh, let's say you're gonna dual cast uh, Deprona so you remove the defense break on your tank and you can cure at the same time so he's gonna be able to take a little bit more damage and also you're gonna be able to heal him there's a lot of good things you can do with her she's uh, really versatile and really easy to use uh, she's not that hard, she does have a lot of strong abilities, you just have to use her nice and easily. Uh, she also has Oli, light magic damage, 2.3 with SPR scaling to one enemy. So let's say you have to finish a boss with magic, well, you can use Oli because it takes really long to cast, and you can just get in there, do the damage, and as Oli is falling down, well, there you go, you beat the boss with magic. Then, finally, she gets full life, which is really, really good. Uh, that's the one thing she was missing, actually, as a healer. Just being able to uh, raise your, um, your allies. It's really, really strong. So, you dual cast her. You, put her, you give her the rod, the spirit rod. What's it called? The, uh, the one from uh, the Elna fight, I think. Mm, the one with dual white magic. Anyways, you guys... You guys probably know which one I'm talking about. Uh, you give her that, she has dual white magic. She's able to full life one character. Also, she's able to Karaga. Bunch of stuff you can do. Uh, also, you can put dual cast on her. So let's say you want to put Karn Buckle on her or any other Esper. You can dual cast, let's say, a heal and um, let's say green magic. So you're fighting Ifrit, whatever. You put uh, Barfiraga. Yeah, Barfiraga and you do a cure stuff like that, where she becomes really, really good. Uh, we're going to go over Ability Awakening. So the Bless one, that's what we were talking about at the beginning. Really, really strong. Uh, once you max it out, okay, it's really cheap. 60,000 gil, uh, basically for a total of 120, and it's healing crisps. Uh, really cheap, do it. Like, that's probably one of the best things you can do. Uh, once you max it out completely, it becomes a refresh of 20 MP with a 0.4 multiplier split over 3 turns and the heal, 1725 HP with a 12 times multiplier split over 3 turns. So, uh, you cast that on the first turn, you make sure that for the next 3 turns your party has HP and MP regen. Uh, then on the turn 4, you do it again if you have the space to do it or not, you wait for turn 5. Whenever you have the, like a free turn with her, just cast bless. It's literally the best thing you can do. She's really just healer, uh, support the team. That's her main job, and she's amazing at what she does. So if you guys are sleeping on her, don't sleep on her anymore. Anymore, just awaken her to a six star. Awaken that ability bless. Uh, it's gonna be really, really useful, guys. I'm telling you, she is a really, really good unit. She's been there for a long time. We kind of slept on her for the longest time. But her 6 star is really amazing. She just got better. She was already really good. And now she just got better. And make sure you have her in your team when you need her. Especially if you don't have a healer yet. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that unit review. I know my voice is still <coughs> a little bit messed up. That cold is really destroying me. But we'll be back uh, tomorrow. Probably if we got the news all in one shot. Because, you know, Gumi, this week, last week, the news were really weird. Uh, so let's see tomorrow news and uh, that's it guys
CG Nicole this week, maybe? Mm, maybe. I hope, I hope, I hope CG Nicole this week. Uh, and we're just gonna wait and see tomorrow. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. If you're new to the channel, please leave a like on this video, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.